Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning back in. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy MTG. Mouse, mouse! And uh, this time, I'm going back to repacks. Repacks. You guys are probably thinking, oh boy, Joey, what did you waste your money on this time? And to be honest with you, I don't know yet, because I haven't opened them up. But we're going to take a look at exactly what I purchased. So purely vintage repacks, Magic the Gathering, possibly old, possible old vintage MTG. Now, some information on here, a lot of five vintage MTG repacks for drafting a, a, a fair, fun, and balanced game with friends while using only vintage cards that are dated no later than 1999. That's what really stood out to me. I like getting my hands on some older stuff. And I love shopping on eBay. It's almost like I feel like I'm walking around like a downtown area with a bunch of old like mom and pop shops when I go on eBay because you never know what you're going to find. Something that really stood out in this description here for the vintage area was uh, card prices ranging from 10 to $90. If that's the case, holy crap, he even said he included a silver, a sliver queen from the original Stronghold set. That is cool. So if we get really lucky, we might pull something like that. This seller has no idea I'm making this video. I'm, I'm going to let them know after the fact. And then we're on to the second one here, which is from the same exact seller, uh, Aso Cab. Four booster lot repack, Magic the Gathering, MTG, 15 card booster, Mythic Rare. I'm going to be actually drafting this tonight with my girlfriend, um, or my wife, I should say. My fiance, she's all three, you know. She mostly just puts up with me. But this one, mix of four repack Magic cards spanning from vintage to modern booster packs with 15 cards each. A great way to have fun drafting from random packs and having a large range of cards to make your deck with. This one was a lot cheaper. It's only $25. Our $24.99 plus $1.99 shipping. I bought one of each of these, and it looks like the seller also included some bonus stuff. I'm going to open that as well, see what that's all about. I'm just really excited. This is something different I haven't done in a very long time, and there's nothing funner to me than cracking open a repack because, man, 95% of the time, they're absolute trash. But that 5% of the time, you find a diamond in the rough. Will this be the diamond in the rough? Stay tuned. Journey with me as I spend money so you don't have to. All right, let's dive in. So I noticed something really cool that this seller does, and he threw in complimentary packs. If you get to the end of here, the first one, there's two complimentary packs. Also, this was included. So for him to write complimentary, he does this for everybody. Um, this came in the second one with the vintage, which we'll be opening second. If we pull a freaking Sliver Queen, Joey Moss is flipping the hell out. That's all I know. And then this was like thrown in there in the mix too. So there's like a lot of value here. Um, I think we may have hit a diamond in the rough, guys. Um, if not, the least I can say is I had some fun opening this with my lady um, or, you know, playing later in a draft. So let's get up into it. I'm going to put these aside. We're going to open everything. This is probably going to be a video you might want to stick around for because at any moment, oh, we might hit some juice, baby. So this is the first one that was $24.99. On the back, this pack contains 15 vintage magic cards ranging from alpha to cards dated 1989. If I pull a freaking alpha card even, I'll, I'll be excited, man. So this is really cool. If, if these guys are as legit as they claim, man, this is going to be cool. <clears throat> All right, so we got some masks. Marcadian. Ooh, okay. Wave Elemental. Legit sauce. Ooh, we just opened an entire booster box of Exodus. $4,000 box. You guys haven't seen that. I'll leave it at the end of this video. But insanity. Oh, Gorilla Berserkers <clears throat> with Rampage 2. I bet no one knows what Rampage 2 even means. <sighs> Old mechanics. No one knows what they are. Goblin, uh, Goblins of the Flark. He did say that they were in pretty played condition. So hence, you got this guy right here. Ooh, a misstep. I think misstep's not bad. It's a cool card. Okay. Uh, Reign of Terror. Always like this art. Really, really sweet. Isn't that a more valuable card, too? That's from Mirage. That's pretty cool. Bury all white creatures or bury all green creatures. Lose two life for each creature put in the graveyard in this way. That seems very mean. Okay, no, I love that card. Amulet of Krog. The old Krog. Okay. A little, uh, what is that, 5th edition or 4th edition? Got Panic. Ah! This guy. Having fun. Merfolk Traders, there you go, from Weatherlight. I, I missed out on a booster box of Weatherlight. I assure you we will do one uh, soon, though, but um, Casting of Bones. <clears throat> but they went for, like, $2,300 bucks plus, uh, you know, tax and all that on eBay um, not long ago. Uh, casting of Bones from Alliances. Is that Alliances? Yeah, it's Alliances. 
Orcish Aura Flame. Attacking creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. Good old sixth edition. <clears throat> Homemade spawning bed. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Hormade spawning bed. Okay. Fallen Empires. All right. Dehydration. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sicken. Sure, sure. Cat Warriors with the Forest Walk Deuce Deuce. Show me some value, baby. Always like you on this one, too. Big old six drop. And you can pump him. He loses some power, though. But if you got no blockers, it's pretty cool. Cunning from Exodus. Vampire Hounds from Exodus. And a forest. We got ourselves a forest. So that first pack was all right. <clears throat> there might be some value up in there. Uh, remember, this was $24.99 for this. Now we have black-themed booster pack. And it says in the back, well, you get 10 common, 4 in common, 1 rare. All right. <clears throat> this is the black-themed. Can't wait to open all the vintage ones. That'll be a freaking hoot. Okay. Um, if anyone's interested in getting into these box breaks, become a patron. You can do it for as little as two bucks, um, and then you just got to pay for your entry into it. That's it. Uh, link in the description of every video. Um, I noticed a surge in patronage this month ever since I started doing the old stuff, and I think it's really cool because it's something special to be a part of. Uh, Zathrid Demon. There you go. Flying and Trample. Big old six drop. Plus, if you're a gambling guy like myself, <clears throat> I don't like scratch-offs, but I do like booster scratch-offs. I will I will open a booster scratch-off ticket any freaking day of the week, man. I just think it's a lot of fun. Um, and for anyone interested in buying this, the guy doesn't have many available. Like, there's only four or five available of each. Like, I mean, this will be gone by the time you probably see this video. Just throwing it out there. Zathra Demon. Um, pretty big beast boy. I'm sure you already read that. So that's a, a mythic we got. Demonic Gifts, okay, some recent stuff, Chaldeem, <clears throat> then we get some more recent stuff, a whole bunch of recent stuff, it is black themed though, I'll give it that, Insatiable Hemophage, Hemo Locked Flame Dude, and Shadows Fuge, uh, Ambitions Cost, what symbol is that, that's like a, a commander set, right, that's pretty cool, Ambitions Cost, and Temple Thief, alright, nothing too spectacular there, we did pull a Mythic though, which is pretty neat, I'm more excited to get to that older repack, uh, all the mint, uh, vintage packs. He did say this is cool for draft, so keep that in mind. He did say it's cool for draft. I don't know the value on this stuff yet, so like I don't really didn't really price it out. Um, Death Pulse. There you go. Target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. Cycling. I like the older stuff, and that card's not even in bad shape. Um, probably like light play considered. Not bad. That's cool. Gloom Widow. Spider Action Boy. The, wit the Witching Well. There you go. Um, Shadowmore. That's old stuff. Anything from Shadowmore, really cool. Lower print run. Pretty neat. Hey, how are you doing there, Blade of the Elves? Did not expect to see you, hot sauce. Ooh. Lathro, Blade of the Elves foil. Okay. That's cool. That's legit. I mean, it just came out recently, but that's a really freaking cool commander people are enjoying to play. Man, this is pretty cool. Okay, now I'm getting a little excited. Now I'm getting a little excited. I want to see what all is up in here. We got a lot more to go. Thirst for Meaning, Daybreak Charger. Okay. Uh, Moonring Island. Legit from Shadowmore. I like the variety in here. My chick's about to learn a lot of new mechanics tonight. That's all I freaking know, man. About to learn a lot of new mechanics tonight. We're going to have a blast. Uh, sneaking Guide. A little Golf Rogue. Benefaction of Ronus. Okay. Storm Herd. There you go. 10 drop. Create X11 one, one white Pegasus creature tokens with flying where X is your life total. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's a big boy. We'll put that in the bear pile. Slice and dice. I love it. Okay, slice and dice is cool. Herald of Dread Horde. And lastly, sharpened pitchfork. This this one always gets me. I think it's funny. Sharpened pitchfork. Like, yeah, what the hell are you gonna do with that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are on to modern card. Whoops, just dropped it. Hopefully not much value in this one. Uh, one rare, one foil, with a 1 in 50 chance of a mythic card in place of a rare. So is that what I got on the last one, a 1 in 50 chance? I got really lucky? <clears throat> or maybe that was a different, I don't know. But man, this is it's like a scratch-off, guys, but you actually get something. You don't just get that experience. We got a foil. We got a foil. Foil Mountain. Not worth much, like 20, 30 cents, but it's a foil. Okay. Rootkin uh, from uh, Modern Horizons. Uh, mo no, from Modern Masters. Pretty cool. 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Corset 21, Dominaria. 
Whoa, ravenous uh, gig gigantotherium to a devour three. This isn't one of those cards that recently went up, is it? No, no, it's not. It can't be. That's cool, though. Sweet big boy. Does a whole lot of stuff. Okay, crash through. The fairy ro rose. If you control a swamp, you may pay two life instead of paying roses. Mana cost triggers. Oh, that's cool. If you control a swamp. Okay, it's a little bit of Phyrexian stuff going on there. Scholar of the Ages from uh, Commander uh, Legends. <clears throat> Inescapable Blaze. There you go. From Ravnica Allegiance, I think. I think so. I never. I can. Always, I always mix those up. Guild of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance. That, I think that's Allegiance, though. Light of Hope Foil. Some Thopter action, Retribution, Unknown Shores, and Life Goes On. All right. So there's that pack. Now we get our complimentary 12 repacked. Uh, thank you for your business. Please enjoy. Okay. Please enjoy extra cards. Sure. <clears throat> this guy's nice. And I, I have to say, a selling point for me was just the packaging. <laughs> it was the packaging alone. Just reminding me of some older stuff. You know. This was his complimentary through in there. 7th edition. Island. That's cool. Shoreline Raider. Get the old Cabo. Dwarfy. Ron for giant spider. You guys ever buy anything like this? Um, have you had a good experience? Did you have a bad experience with it? I'd like to hear about it. Ooh, I like the uh, old borderlands here. Um, repacks, man. Usually you get freaking hosed. Um, but this, this guy has variety freaking town, man. Like, it's all over the map. Uh, pretty neat. Now we're on to this one. Complimentary. Thank you for your business, is all it says. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Does it smell? It smells like dish soap. Dang it, Joey, you had to wash your hands. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, this looks like a bunch of commons, probably. This is complimentary, I guess, so it just throws it in there. Whoops, sorry, got the camera shaking. Try to steady her out. My homie Brian Coon sent me a new setup because this thing stinks. <laughs> Solid footing. I'm looking forward to that Coon dog when it arrives, man. Nature's Way. Maximum velocity. Akum Refuge. Ruin Rat and Phantom Warrior. Okay, so that was in the 1999, but we also got this Casualties of War came with that. I believe the Casualties of War came with it, and also their goodies too. Casualties of War, cool. Sandsteep Citadel, all right. Spirit of the Spoilers, some Rumble, some Winds, some Claws. So this was just like a, an extra little inclusion here. Uh, Burning Shield at Skari. With the flanking on it. Old school illusion reality. That's a freaking cool card right there. I think the foil on that's worth a pretty penny. Pretty legit. Rusting Golem. Man, the old stuff. Fading five. Holy crap. Throwing fading on there. That's neat. And Sky Knight Legionnaire with Cursed Land. I always like this card. Cursed Land deals one damage to target lands controller during his or her upkeep. Sure, take all the extra turns you want, buddy. No. <laughs> See how that works out for you. Okay, so got some cool cards there. Nothing too crazy. Um, let's open, what else? I mean, he had some bonus stuff. I'll do the Strixhaven before I get into the vintage. Can we pull something good out of a set booster? I mean, these set booster packs are like four bucks a piece, man. He just threw it in there. So pretty cool. What do we got? Bam, we got one of these. No cool art on that. Or no signature. Forest. Um, moment, I forget how these go. Up with so many packs now. A fracture. Ooh, we got some uh, some cool stuff in the back. Got some cool stuff. Pestilent uh, Cauldron. Sil uh, Silver Quill Command. Dark Ritual. Is that etched? Non-etched. Dark Ritual, just regular. That's pretty cool. Nice. Fuming Effigy. Out the door. Done with that. Okay. That Fuming Effigy. No one cares about. But that freaking Dark Ritual made my day. You go in the cool pile, Mr. Ritual. And uh, I'll throw some other stuff in here. There's some good cards here as well, but cool. All right. Um, let's see what we get. Oh, Caldeem. I got to crack this now, too, just because Caldeem's terrible. We're going to open this pack real quick. Caldeem. I talked so much hype about this set and gave it so much props, and it just failed conclusively. These are also about four bucks a pack, roughly. Um, that was a little beat up on the bottom there. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Oracle, Verdict. Ooh, there you go. Judge of Valor. Down the road, probably be one of the more pricier cards in the uncommon slot in the set. Pretty slick. Uh, Dragonkin Berserker. Oh, you Berserker. 
and the Elementalist. Nothing crazy here. Ravenous uh, Lindworm foil. Okay, so that sums up all of that pack. Those are like bonuses. I don't even know what this is. We'll crack this at the very end. We'll see what that's about. Let's get up into Mr. Frickin' Vintage. Let's see what's up in the Mr. Vintage area. I'm going to put these all aside. This is what we've been waiting for. We got the Vintage over here. If we pull a frickin' Sliver Queen, man, I'm going to frickin' lose it. Oh, Oasis showing up. This looks sweet. This was 50 bucks for one of these. Let's see what we get, man. 50 bucks for all of, all of them. Um, let's see what we get. Prevent one damage to any creature. That's cool. Oasis. Fling. Wow, I forget Fling was all the way back in Stronghold. Wow. Takes me way back, man. Uh, Deep Wood Drummer. There you go. That's me. Having a freaking real good time. I'm just shaking these little... It's not a bongo, is it? What is that? It's like a baby rattle because I'm a child. I know. I know, I know, I know. Cartographer. We just pulled this in the Exodus box. Pretty cool. Uh, some militia dudes. <sighs> Man, it takes me so far back. Be living the childhood. Be living the child every day. <laughs> <laughs> Necrite. Necrite. Sweet art. Who is this artist? Drew Tucker. I like your art, Drew. Just saying. I've always liked it, man. That's from uh, Fallen Empires. Awful set. Here's Homelands. What a dwarven trader dude. Sandbar Serpent from Urza Saga. We'll go three, four with some cycling action. Here's a fourth edition Alabaster Potion. Bada skadink. There you go. Alabaster Potion. Coercion. Look at target opponent's hand. Choose a card from that player's hand. That player discards that card. Not bad. That thing had seen better days. I'll tell you that. Metathron Soldier from Urza's Destiny. Another Exodus card. Disintegrate. Shield Bearer. I wonder what our rare was. I don't think we pulled one yet. But that's from Ice Age. Here's Urza Saga. Scrap. Life Force from 4th Edition. Okay. Yeah, go on, go on. The old Sky Captain from Ice Age. Coercion. Again, Tempest. Different art. Fire Breathing from 6th. Walking Spongy from Urza's Legacy. Urza's Legacy Intervene. And a Plains Tempest to close it out. Ugh. Okay, first pack. I think that Oasis, uh, is that like our rare? Is the fir is that first pack? Is the first card? This pack contains 15 vintage magic cards ranging from Alpha to cards dated in 1999. Well, in this, we do not hit any Alpha cards. Can we pull an Alpha card here? So if the rare is that first one, then, I think I'm going to do it like this. Oh, I think, we, I, I think I see some old stuff. Yeah. Wait, wait, not like that. We go one, two, we want the top to go on the bottom. Okay, let's see what happens. Pendril Drake from Saga. Here's some 6th edition. Another Coercion. Dwarven Trader. This looks like almost kind of duplicates. Uh, Lost Soul. Hidden Ancients from Saga. Uh, Iridescent Drake from Urza's uh, Destiny. Nice. That's a 5th edition. Uh, sea Sprite. Fallen Empires, Combat Medic. Medic! Starship Troopers. I think that's hilarious. Dude's like blown to pieces, man. And they're like, Medic! And he's screaming for Medic. <laughs> There's his legacy. Uh, some more 4th edition. Red Ward. Vampire Hounds from Exodus. Destiny is the Spies. Shapeshifter from 4th edition. Look at that guy. Yeah! So cool. So cool. Coercion from Tempest, Plains from Tempest. Oasis yet again, prevent one damage to any creature. Robe of Mirrors and Deepwood Drummer. Hmm. Not thrilled with that repack at all. Okay, not looking so hot now. Not looking so hot, buddy. Not looking to spin up your Oasis. Okay, it's a forest. It's a forest. Honorable Passage. Showing on up. Preventing too much damage. That's from Visions. Mirage, Raging Spirit. Uh, Mesa Pegasus. We need, Okay. Saw DV Sage. I don't think that's worth anything, though. But we did pull something from Alliances. It's pretty cool. Something. Mind Stab Thrall. From both Fallen Empires. Sixth edition. Weatherlight, Nature's Kiss. A fun card. That's right. Um, this is Mercadian Masks, Mosques, Arcadian Mosques, however you say that. I, I can't say that right. Oh, Feral Phallid. Like the art on that one. 
May not be worth crap, but we pulled it. <laughs> Stone Rain, been printed a whole bunch of times. Goblin Digging Team from um, the reprint set, the mass one. I don't know why I can't think of it. Chronicles. Nausea. I'm about to get nausea if this freaking pack doesn't pick up or this, uh, this little opening here. Transmorgifying Lissid. Cool. From Exodus. Valadian Soldiers. Familiar Ground. I don't think we see a whole lot of rares or anything. Blind Fury. All creatures lose trample until end of turn. Double all combat damage assigned to creatures this turn. That might be the rare, if there is a rare in here. And a mountain. Not seeing any alpha, pal. Not that we'd get alpha, but, you know. Uh, we are seeing the old stuff, but really no value whatsoever. Which kind of makes me sad in pants, you know. All right, we have a planes. There you go. Rogue Elephant from Weatherlight. Sweet art on this. Always stood out to me. So big old 3-3. Three, three. Bury uh, or bury Rogue Elephant. Sacrifice a forest or bury an elephant. Okay. So turn one, you can get a 3-3 three, three out. Uh, Sand Scout. Cat Warriors. Nothing good. Thrill Surgeon. Anaba Bodyguard. You got First Strike. There you go. From Homelands. Lost Soul. Beautiful. Look at this damsel, man. Do you ever look at that artwork? You can almost see through it. Unbelievable. Dark Banishing. Sweet card. Sweet card. Elvish Healer. Doing all of its amazing things. Sure. Repentant Re Re Blacksmith. We are pulling crap now. Azamat Drake. I was happier with the first one we did with the rares and stuff. That was kind of fun. Wall of Shadows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Elvish Bard. Look at this, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm so hot. Look at me. Got my stockings on, it's more of a bodysuit, jumpsuit, got it from Peter Pan, stole it when I was with him last night, didn't tell him, I left like a, like a demon in the night. <laughs> okay, Elvis, I don't know. Spectre's uh, Whale, sure. Uh, Elvin Cache. Dire Wolves, Reflexes, Reflexes, and Forest. All right, these purely vintage packs have been purely trash. Um... Let me spend money so you don't have to. Okay, we got a forest. Scald, uh, seed, seedling charm. That's Mirage. Okay. Fog Elemental. Weather Light. Mercadian. Diplomatic Escort. I could use the Escort right now. You know what I'm saying? Just kidding, guys. I'm a well-rounded man. Actually, me and my woman, we're going to uh, Cedar Point. And we're going to uh, be staying in Hotel Breakers um, this uh, coming weekend. It's going to be a blast, man. Uh, or this coming week. Yeah. Fog. There you go. So, hot diggity dogs, man. Death Duet. Alms. Remove the top card in your graveyard from the game. Prevent one damage to any creature. Alms. Sure. Oh, man. I don't know why this card just made me sad. <laughs> Ice Age was the first that I ever opened, but every time I pulled that, I'm like, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Title Influence. That's cool. It has a lot of text on it. That's for sure. All right, Rose, Roos, uh, Stream of Life, Briar Shield, Saran Enchanter. I'm not seeing much here, guys. There's Legacy, Amulet of Krog, Balduvian Dead. I mean, cool cards, you know, but not really. Um, there we go. Haunting Apparition showing up. Some gold in Mirage. That's fun. Cool card. And a Forest. So that was the vintage. We got some bonus modern pack here and one other thing to open, and that closes this video out. Um, the vintage pack was, it's, I mean, at least it seemed really weak. Unless I'm missing something, this was the bonus he included. Um, I don't think the vintage one is at all worth it. I mean, we could have just had really bad luck. You know, um, there's Jotai exemplars, some sweet little human monks there. It's a mythic, not bad. Put that in the mythic pile. Yeah. <laughs> Reclamation Sage. Sweet. Farfinder. Uh, Grave Servitude. I like these better um, than the other stuff. A Solid Footing Foil. Horizon Scholar. I think you get more value, really, out of the, um, the more recent packs he was doing. Here's um, another complimentary one. Sure. Um, yeah, the Vintage. I would personally, if I had to buy this again, I would skip the Vintage one. I gotta be honest with you. Um, it was crap, but I mean, hey, if there is some crazy, you know, 
uh, you know, beat up or damaged condition, uh, sliver queen. I mean, that's cool, but, um, these, ooh, angel, flying protection from black, okay. Rights of refusal. These, these look a lot more fun than the other stuff. Perdic Lancer, Island, Grizzly Bears, Grizzly Bears, and the Server Legion, Crocin Avenger, and a Bay Falcon. Um, yeah, I would definitely run with uh, the other um, the, the other one, the, the cheaper one. It seemed like a lot more fun for cheap, and you could easily draft with it. This was a bonus he threw in there. It looks like just some commons. Plague Witch, cool. Gates of Istfel. And, uh, yeah, some legends. Uh, Rampage 1. Anyone tell me what Rampage is? No? Forest way the heck off center. Pretty cool. Okay, that was a foil. Uh, then we have this thing. What is this? Ferocity Divines. Green planeswalkers who overwhelm their enemies with giant creatures. You are a planeswalker. Ready to play 30-card deck. Maybe I'll give my chick this and I'll draft out of this stuff and see, what we, see if I can beat her. <laughs> this looks like this would be a little bit better. All right, can we open this? She would have an advantage if she played with this, maybe. All right. Well, this is cool. This is cool. What do we got? I think the value might be made up here with everything he did. Um, that might take a minute to open. Yeah. Yeah. Bear with me. Yeah. My son hit me over the freaking head today with, um, let me, hold on. This is going to take a minute, guys. Uh, with a remote control, like seriously left a freaking mark on my face. <laughs> he busted me good. Hold on. I got to pause this. All right. Finally got that open. Uh, overrun, great budget card for sure. Blanchwood armor. These are all very nice condition. Rampant growth. Sweet. Ooh, what the heck? How does that even happen, Watsy? How does that even happen? <laughs> what? It's peeling. There's like gunk on it. What? That's weird. It's not like it was resealed. I mean, it looks crisp, except for that one card. Um, that was an error by Wizards. Uh, Naturalize, Crawworm, Spineworm. Yeah, my girl might have fun playing with these. Giant Spider. Do we got a Planeswalker? Grizzly Bears, give me a Walker. No, no Walker. Ready to play deck. Where's the Planeswalker, you lying sack of crap? And then you get one of these, too. Uh, whoa, this might be, uh, be cool to look at. A little bit. There you go, gentlemen. So my overall thoughts on this. Um, the very first one, it seemed pretty cool for $24.99. I, I would buy that again. I wouldn't mind, you know. Uh, but the vintage one, it, it, it just seemed to be lacking like any actual real value. I could be wrong. There might there might have been a reserve list card in there I overlooked, you know. I'm going to be looking at it afterwards, though, but I highly doubt it. So, yeah, my overall thoughts, I mean... The first one, I'd give a B. Uh, the vintage one, I'd definitely give that a C or D. There was not much value whatsoever to behold. My honest thoughts. What are your guys' thoughts on this one? Um, I'd like to hear about it. I'll leave it in the comments. And just, Overall, if you enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. And check out the links in the description for Patreon TCG Player affiliate link. If you ever purchase any cards, TCG Player, use the affiliate link. Save the channel. Uh, a few bucks here and there. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you tuning in. Join Moss. Bad Boy MTG. Mouse, mouse, skadoosh. Uh.